March the 27th. I am currently in... Where am I? I'm going to have to look on my logbook. I forgot where I'm at. Oh, look at this. I'm so bad. Oh, yeah. That's no help. <laughs> oh, okay. There's more than one way to figure out where I'm at. Oh, Terrell, North, Terrell, North Carolina. I just delivered. Last episode, just delivered. Woo, my memory's consistent. Anywho, I'm about to take the girls to Five Guys for a meal, and I thought I'd call my next customer to let them know I'm on my way for pickup and they're out of business. <laughs> this is gonna be another one of those you just show up and get your unit sounds like. And if you want customer service, you gotta email them. And I'm like, okay. The, the business itself is going out of business, but they are being taken over by Camping World and nobody's answering the phone. So it's a four hour drive. I'm just gonna show up. Anyway, five guys first. But this girl, and this girl firstest. Yep, this is the same five guys. And the extra reason that I remember it is it was hot this day, the day I was here. And the girls needed to potty and I took them to the Sam's Club over there uh, where those green shrubberies are and sought shade uh, next to those green shrubberies so they could go pate. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna have five guys today. They're having technical difficulties and they're doing cash only. <laughs> I don't carry cash. Come on, people, get out of my way. I'm hungry. Alrighty, folks, I made it to Greenville, North Carolina, wherever I was supposed to pick up. I get to the customer. They are open. They are in business. They're transitioning over to Camping World staff and the unit that I was dispatched to pick up, they said has been capped by another camping world like whatever that means and it's destined for a different destination than Myrtle Beach South Carolina so I left and I did find something on the load board that I self-dispatched on and it's a six hour drive and I'm th I've got three hours left on my logbook and I thought you know what I'm gonna go ahead and start heading that way when I get up in the morning I will call and see if I can get somebody on the phone and find out if the unit is actually ready but I'm gonna start heading that way so that's what I've got going on right now the customer told me I'm the eighth horizon driver he's turned away today some kind of mess up about who's planning the loads who's scheduling the loads told him I said don't worry about it I said it's just all part of the adventure I mean it kind of is a bummer I drove, drove all the way down there I couldn't get a hold of anybody on the phone I told him that I said the number I call is like a, a pre-recorded message like nobody's in business and if I need help send an email and I'm like I'm not sending an email he goes oh you should have just looked up the thing for the camping world I'm like I didn't know I was that that was an option I mean the phone answers for a different business kind of sort of maybe like a camping world I, it's not my job to try to figure out how to get a hold of people when it sounds like they're going out of business now, this town is so cool wherever I'm at got these little these little doodad machines that are kind of like scooching around all over town do, do, do you see it this little this little right there they're all over the place I guess they're little delivery doodads
March 28th, Graham, North Carolina. <coughs> Just logged in, getting ready to head out. I called the customer at my pickup location to confirm that the unit is ready to go. And I get, it should be ready and sitting out front waiting for you. Should be. Yeah, that's all. No, you're not getting more cheese. Mm hmm. Be fortunate that you get cheese while I'm giving Squirt her pill. No. No. Uh -uh. No. Whatever. Let's hit the road. Let's get to work. Squirt's freezing. She's over there shivering. We need to get the truck running and get the heat going. You're not listening to me. You're not listening to me. Why do I feel like I'm talking to the wind? Alright. Little turd. You a tud. Okay. Anyway, we're going to head on down. I've got... Let me check the mapping program. I didn't even look. I think last night when I looked... I was like, I still had a couple more hours of drive time left. I, I really don't, I don't remember. My bad, two hours, 57 minutes. So I still have three hours to go. Let's do it. That's what, that's what they pay me the big bucks for. Oh, I forgot to mention. Also, my traffic manager called me this morning. I said, did you get my email? She says, I'm reading it right now. So I, I told her what was going on. And I told her, it's just, it's a crazy mess over there. So uh, she's going to leave me dispatched on the load because she wants to try to get me some compensation pay for driving down there anyway. And so, but I, I mean, I'm already dispatched on another, I already dispatched myself on another load. Stop. They're allowed to be there. I, you're so bossy. I'm a little bossy bean. Anyway, um, I just uh, took the time to kind of just even chat with my traffic manager. I've never really talked with her before. She's she's new for me, and uh, we had a nice conversation. I told her, I said, I'm not a very patient person. I said, you may not know this about me. She goes, yeah, I know it. And I went, oh, okay. I'm like, mm, I don't like sitting. When I'm on downtime, I'm on downtime. But when I'm on, when I'm working, I want to work. And so we both laughed about. It. I'm like, yeah, I'm not a I'm not a patient person. So I told her, I said, look, if this this next load doesn't fall through, I'm dead heading back up to Indiana because I've got something I need to do on Sunday. And I said I need to get back up there anyway. So <laughs> I'm not a very patient person. I'm at the customer. Sorry. We are at the customer. Spartanburg, South Carolina. I ask them to print out my paperwork. I email it to them. And they go, yeah, it should be right out front. So I go and I look. Like that row over there. I go back in the building and I'm like, um, where am I supposed to find the unit at? It should be out front. Along that row off there? Yeah. No, it's not there. Well, it was. So they did some calls. And somebody's supposed to be bringing the unit out, but I've been waiting here a bit. So uh, I, I, I really don't know what's going on here. My mentor assured me that these people are spot on and they do good business. But I'm still waiting. I mean... We are still waiting. All right, the forklift guy finally brought the unit. And I was walking in to the building to check out the bathroom decorations and kind of hang out like, hint, hint, I still don't have my unit yet. And uh, the forklift guy come pulling up, bringing it in. All the slides are out on it. So I walk over, I'm like, you're going to slide those slides out, aren't you? Oh, he's waiting on me. How cool is that? Well, all right. All right, everybody. Here in Spartanburg, South Carolina, let me tell you what I've got going on. 
I am hooked to a 46 foot fifth wheel, shipping weight 16,420, GVWR 20,000. It is picking up Spartanburg, South Carolina, and it is on its way to Syracuse, New York. It's a store to store transfer, so no keys, no paperwork. I will walk you around the outside so you can take a look at it. And then we're ready to go because I have already submitted my pre-trip pictures and my logbook is up to date. And I might pull over to the edge of the parking lot so the girls can potty one more time. It's pretty warm here. Chambersburg somewhere. I had to pull over and um, check my truck and my unit. Debris blew out of the back of a pickup truck. It was a lid to one of those those um, plastic containers, plastic totes. Lid blew out of the back of the pickup truck, smacked my truck, made this god awful noise. And I'm pretty sure it hit the unit too. So I had to pull over and make sure there was no damage because if, if there is, I gotta lock the video on my um, dash cam to document debris flying at me. I didn't see any damage, which is crazy because it sure made enough noise like there was damage, but I, I didn't see any damage. So we're back on the road again. Alrighty, folks, the unit is dropped, and I have submitted my post trip pictures here in Syracuse, New York, at the customer. And I've plotted my course to go grab a bite to eat, and then I'm going to come back because uh, nobody was here to sign my paperwork. And, um, they open up again at 9 a.m. for receiving, but I'll probably bug them sooner if their door is open. But there it is, all set.